Hi, it's Mike here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Hot Wheels timer version two. Um, version one was just the, the finish line and version two is going to be the LCD screen that will actually display a time here at the elapsed time from the start of the race to the end of the race. So uh, if you haven't already done so, please click the link below to watch uh, version one to get an idea on how it all goes together. And then version two is just a, pretty much an add on of a screen and a switch and some wiring. Uh, pretty simple. Anyway, enjoy. And here I am at the bench. Uh, as you can see that this is the, the timing uh, finish line and uh, Arduino from uh, version one. Um, this is uh, version two, which includes um, an LED screen and um, a bunch of wire for a start switch. I'm running in the debug mode for this, uh, for this program. Um, how you get into that is remove the forward slashes in the serial print line and upload the, this program into the Arduino and it will actually start reading the uh, sensor values in the serial monitor. Just make sure that when you actually have it all figured out, um, put the forward slashes back in and re-upload uh, the program again um, because the serial monitor uh, actually will slow down the CPU of the Arduino and it will actually uh, create some issues with the timing. So I pause that and you can see that the, the reading of a vehicle or a car going through it would be quite low. Um, you can see the one sensor is uh, 378 and the other one is 127. So that would be a triggered as a good read. So now I went ahead and started the start gate the switch and there you can see that the start time is actually in uh, microseconds, so that uh, works perfectly. And the one is the trigger before it was zero. So zero means it was uh, the start gate was closed, and one means that the start gate is open and the timing has started. I'm running Cat5 cable here. I got about 20 feet of it, so that's how long my track is, uh, which is pretty much a scaled quarter mile track. Um, the issue here is, is that the cable is so long that the, the Arduino can't even pick up uh, if it's just an open and a close. So what we have to do is use a pull-up resistor. So what I'm doing is actually putting 5 volts through the cable from one end to another and then using a resistor. And sh pretty much when it shorts out, it realizes that there's an event on the cable and that's when the timer starts. So you can uh, I'll send a link on how pull-up resistors work on this. Wiring up the LCD screen is actually pretty simple. Um, using the serial port, I just have four wires coming out of it. So you got a, a five volt, a ground, and the two communication wires. And I just daisy chain them into the Arduino. Um, it's pretty basic and same with the switch. The switch is just two wires as well. And again, I use the pull up resistor and it, it just all fits nicely onto the Nano went ahead and ran a race and you can see there that lane one ran a 4.1901 time and lane two ran a 3.5464 time and it was designated the win. So that's pretty cool. No arguments there. Back in the shop here, so being this is the version two of the timer, we're gonna have to make a little enclosure for the LCD screen and the Nano. So I have some ABS plastic here, a little small piece and uh, some aluminum that I use for the sides. We'll just mount the LCD screen here and the Nano here. We'll cut a little hole out the top so I can get the resets button and a little port on the side so we can put the USB cable in there for charging and powering it up. So that should be good. So it just comes off here. Yeah, I've got little slots on the side for the cables to come out and the USB cable to go in to, to power it up. I'll probably end up um, Velcroing the battery pack on the side there and I made a little standoff here to screw into the back so that it can be propped up like this. Here it is all completed. Got the standoff in the back. The aluminum is just bolted together with machine bolts and threaded. Um, same with the ABS top, it's just uh, screwed onto the top. The battery pack there is just Velcro to the side. 
Got the hole for the front of it to reset the Arduino board. Just some simple tools, hacksaw, drill, some files, nothing special. Cool thing about this program here is that every time the start gate opens and closes, it resets the times for you. So you don't have to keep on hitting the reset button.